Okay, so this is the video that I was talking about earlier when I made the other video a few days ago. Or whenever. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this, but yeah. So, here, in my opinion, is what the reboot has to be. There was the cube. We know not where it comes. Okay, so the plot of the last five films has been the exact same thing. It's all about this one special device that can do pretty much anything. Both sides won. You have the Allspark, the Sun Harvester, the Pillars, the Seed, and the Staff. Which, I mean, this storyline can work if done properly. But I think if they do it for this reboot, at least in, in the beginning, it's gonna be a little tiring and it's gonna fail. So we cannot, and I mean cannot, have this MacGuffin storyline. I th would suggest maybe doing a much more personal storyline, or maybe a story with that's just strictly about the war and the effects that it has on these characters. We need that. Okay, so we all know that if this first film is financially successful, then we will be getting a lot more Transformers films. But we just have to hope that they are done correctly, or built up upon correctly. This first film has to potentially start an entire franchise similar to what the first Iron Man did for the MCU. Because we already know that Hasbro is going to try and recreate the MCU. Because, I mean, everyone's doing it. We just have to hope that they can build upon it correctly. Because they didn't do that for Age of Extinction and The Last Night. Those two films weren't supposed to happen. It was supposed to conclude with Dark of the Moon. And if you watch the first trilogy, or that trilogy, it works. Dark of the Moon concludes the plot, and it concludes the character arcs. What few character arcs there were. So, we just have to hope that they can do this correctly, and leave the door open for something else. Maybe just have a throwaway line in there, some mentioning the Wreckers, or the Constructicons, or I don't know, Overlord. So in a potential sequel, we get one of those characters that was mentioned and has, you know, existed. And just so it's not so sudden and it just comes out of nowhere. Because that's the problem with the other five. Things just happen and come out of nowhere. Like the Constructicons, the Dinobots, all of the artifacts, MacGuffins and every character we can't have that for this because that'll just tear everything apart Autobots roll out we roll. possibly the most important part that the reboot cannot get wrong is the characters if it gets the characters wrong then it's all gonna fail and it's just gonna become the exact same thing this franchise has lasted as long as it has because of its interesting and developed characters. We need that. It... We just do. Because all of the characters in the base movies, or at least all the Transformer characters, are all kind of forgettable. And that shouldn't be the case. With so many different characters in the franchise, it's honestly impressive how someone is able to distinguish them all. And yeah, some of them aren't as interesting as others. A lot of them stand out, and with that large cast, that's an impressive feat. So, yeah. Also, separate note, the character designs. <sighs> the character
character designs need to be based on G1. Now, a lot of people are saying just essentially remake G1, or just make G1 designs, but we'll we'll kind of do that. Have these designs inspired by the G1 designs, but also make them your own, because if we just have G1, what's the point? Also, the G1 designs look very ridiculous. We need these designs to look like you. Like, you should be able to look at a Megatron design and go, Oh yeah, that's Megatron. By very distinct features. Maybe the head and the fusion cannon on the arm. Same thing with Optimus. Oh yeah, that's Optimus. The head and the chest windows things. Maybe that, maybe that is all that is similar. But just do that. Give these characters, like, take what's distinct about their original design and keep those, update them a little bit, and then pretty much change the rest of the design to fit those. Make these designs different, distinct, but also recognizable. So, I'm recording this part after the Bumblebee movie trailer came out. All the other parts were recorded a while ago. So, yeah, the trailer kind of puts a wrench into things, but that's fine. Now, I originally was not on board with the Bumblebee movie being the first film in the reboot. I thought it was going to be stupid. Or, well, not stupid. I thought it was going to have too many nods to the Bayformers. And it does. Definitely does. But with the trailer, it could actually work. Because we see Starscream in his G1 colors. And it looks reminiscent enough of Starscream. Of G1 Starscream. But also looks different enough as well to be its own design. And that's, that's good. Same thing with Bumblebee, it's... Mm, Bumblebee design looks nice, I actually really like it. It, you know... The head looks fine, and... Or, the head looks fine on that design. So... I thought it was going to look kind of weird. And he's small. Just like G1. Okay, well... That was alright. I know it's some wasn't the most visually pleasing to look at, but mm, I try. I tried. <laughs> Hope you guys like it though. Let me know if you want more of these. So yeah.